Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. We've had a nice little break. I think we're safe from the dinosaurs for a minute, so let's go back and have another go with them. I've got this one, we've got the other one. The other raptor is just going to be like a, a, a battle companion, I suppose, that that kind of approach we'll go with. Um, but I, I want to go, at the moment, I want to go for a bit of a walk. So we'll, we'll jump off and we'll leave you right there. So if I go like that, uh, behavior, disable following. Where are you going now? And then I go to you, behavior, disable following. And then I go access inventory, Patrick. So for you, as I'm not planning to actually ride you, I'm thinking big health increases. I want to really start working on your health increases. That would be the best option for that one. Uh, let's go run inside a minute. And have I got anything I want to leave behind? I got a couple of bits and pieces here, didn't I? But I don't think there's anything it really that... I've got, like, more hides. Hides are really easy to get now. So we'll leave that and that behind. Oh, I know what I want to do. I know what I want to do. We'll go into... No. No, I don't even want crafting. I want engrams. I've got 844 engram points available now. Unlearned engrams. Right, this, this is all the stuff that we haven't yet learned. So we've got Carbonimus, we've got a Packy saddle, we've got uh, all of the hide stuff. I haven't learned any of that yet. Bug repellent. Maybe I ought to consider citronol. we need for that. Uh, lesser antidote for when you get poisoned. Leech blood horns. Rare flowers. This is all very... Complex stuff. Equus Saddle, Hyenodon Meat Pack. Polmana Scorpius. That's the big scorpion type thing. Those are really cool. Uh, Procoptodon, Smoke Grenade, Artifact Pedestal. Um, Pachyrhinosaurus, Manta, a Bear Trap, Handcuffs. I don't think we have any need for handcuffs. Uh, Gallimimus, Iguanodon, Megaloceros, Mammoth, right there. Mammoth would be pretty good. That's crafted at the smithy. That doesn't actually need very much. A Mammoth would be a good one because you get loads of, um, timber with those. So we will keep an eye out for that. But that's not what I'm after right now. And as I said before, Tyranodon, that's the one that I want right there. As I said before, uh, I'm... I've rage quit this game. I have actually left this game and just you just given up on it completely because it 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 does annoy me. There's a lot of stuff in this game that does annoy me. So I, I'm kind of I, I want to focus on some of the things that are less likely to make me rage quit at the moment and just stop the series altogether. Um, and those sorts of things are let's just uh, there we go. We'll make it a little bit brighter for us. Um, those sorts of things are. The, well, certainly the flying. We'll gather up a few dinosaurs if we can, uh, like so the flying and, and things like that. That that's um, that's that's steps in the right direction. Okay, in order to make the Tyrannodon saddle, I need two hundred and thirty hides, uh, one hundred and twenty-five fibers, and seventy-five chitin or keratin. Well, I've actually got both of those. I've got both options right in here because I've got such high gathering rates. I've got, um, yeah, but both of those are absolutely easy. Right, so we go to there, uh, nope, uh, V for crafting, there. Uh, what else did I want? 230 hides. Right, well, the, the hides are in here. Go into there, take you, and now we go to crafting, and we will make that saddle right there. Fantastic. So now I can go back in here and I will dump that one in there. And then I go over to you and I will dump uh, that in there. And this is where I really want to lighten the load as much as possible. Let's just have a look at this Lazarus Chowder thing. Right click. Uh, oh, it's, it's literally just drop. 
Uh, three servings of cooked meat, four savo root, five long grass, one handful of mejo berries, half a dollop of narcotics, submerge in water, cook in a cooking pot. Okay. Uh, so Lazarus Chow, that's actually quite a useful item to keep hold of. We'll, we'll put that one in there. Um, and that one. And the sling. Uh, I'm going to hold the sling as well as those rocks there. I'll get rid of... No, I haven't got... Oh, I've got, I've got 50 of these. I don't want 50. Split half. And then you split half. You again, split half. Right. Transfer that and that. So I'll keep seven of them. That's not very many. Uh, timber. That can be kept back. And also the one piece of metal right there. That can be kept back. Thatch. i got 65 thatch. Get rid of all of that. The rest of it I can gather as and when I need. I want to go down here to this one. We've got 105 of those right now. I'll transfer that in and transfer that in. You notice that it tops up all of the stacks when you drop it in, but I've still got 29 of those. It's the berries that we've run out of. And I'll put that in as well. So I've now got as little stuff on me as possible. And I want to capture a Pteranodon. And I can't remember if a Pteranodon takes... Um, I can't remember what the Tyranodon takes, actually. I, I just can't remember what the Tyranodon takes. Right, movement speed. We'll increase that one. I'm still wanting to make Dante a saddle. That's quite an important task. We're going to want to go and get some more iron for that, some more metal, which is going to be the other side of the river. So thus, I'm wondering about maybe taking the Raptor to go and do that, except that my own running... I'm, I'm able to go pretty much as fast with my own running. We should have stopped for some water before I left. That's all right. We're doing just fine. How we are. We go along like this. Uh, I'll have my, another bite to eat. Yeah, dehydrated. Find some water fast. Well, it just so happens. Something was attacking just there. Right. We'll go in here and we'll have a drink that and then we will come out of the river what was attacking I heard attacks going on something was oh there's a there's another raptor over there there's one there are these guys in packs they are in packs what what's attack oh it's the the raptor is doing the attacking Right, you die for me. What's... Hey, whoa, 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 what's going on? Easy, tiger. Okay, I'm not really sure what he was doing there, but he, he kind of stuck me up in the air, I think. Uh, did I get... No, I, I'm going to get a little bit of meat. There, ten pieces of meat. I can't remember if the Tyranodon takes meat or something else. So we'll just we'll just grab a little bit of meat. And the Tyranodon is the thing that I'm looking for first. If I can get I've got a Tyranodon saddle on me. So if I can find a Tyranodon. Excellent. I will use one. There's another raptor over there. I'll ignore that one. I don't want to capture another raptor. You can have packs and packs and packs of raptors if you want to. All right, you can have loads of them. What's this? An Ichthyornis egg. You've been poisoned. What are you? Oh, night night. Right, that's that's my torpidity. I gotta wait for that to drop down now. You can see the little stars on the side. I don't know if that's going up or going down. Right, that thing's gone over there. I'm not really sure what's going on with this. I've got to wait for that to drop, have I? I can't wait. I've literally just got to sit here and wait for myself to wake up now. Something's coming by. Something big. Oh, it's, it's that thing over there. Right. Ah! 
What have I got now? Um, my torpidity value has not changed. I can't wake up. I can't look in my inventory. There's actually nothing whatsoever that I can do. I literally just have to stand here and wait to... Do I just have to wait until I die? Or do I have to wait until I wake up? Think I gotta wait until I wake up? If that's the case, I'm about to wake up. And we want to get this thing quick before I pass out again. There we go. Right. Take him down. Torpidity is rapidly increasing. Right. We want to go up over this way. And out we go again. So I, I don't actually, like... Now what? I've, I think I've run far enough away from it. I can hear things around me. Oh, that's... Now what? It's that same thing has come back again and he's attacked me once more. I'm, I'm going to be... This is what I hate about this game. I really, really hate mechanics like this. This, what is the point of this? I mean, literally, I, I can sit here for an hour doing this, and it's not killing me. It's not doing anything to me. Right, it's just running around in circles, waiting to zap me again. I mean, if you eat stim berries, it keeps you awake. I know that, right? And I appreciate that you want to get punishments for things in games, but this mechanic is utterly, utterly pointless in this. Have something, something else. Five seconds. Uh, five seconds until it happens. I haven't got time to pick up any berries. And down I go again. And I wait for that thing to come back. I literally just... I can't see it now. There are times I really despise this game. Right, there, look. I can just make out something chewing on my back. I can hear it. There is absolutely no defense against it whatsoever. It's going to keep doing that. Uh, what happens when torpidity goes all the way up to maximum? Does it change anything else? What's changed now? Torpidity is 200 of 200. My health is 184. And now I've got to sit here for just ages doing absolutely nothing. Right, is that creature run away? Has it stopped attacking me because torpidity went all the way up? Still sat here waiting. Still really enjoying this gaming experience. If we do actually manage to regain consciousness, I'll gather up some stim berries. And we'll make sure we've got some stim berries on the hot bar. But... I'm not sure at this point that we're even going to get to that point. Right, I'm, I'm not sure that we're even going to be able to gather the stim berries and use them. Right, put that one away. Uh, gather berries. Right, there, I've got three stim berries so far. Let me just go like this and put them down on the hot bar like that. Poisoned. Right. There is a bird. So I don't what was that thing that was attacking us? Anybody got any clue? I haven't got a clue. I don't know what that thing was. It was it wasn't a very nice thing, whatever it was. It was very small, very annoying. Very, very annoying. Very frustrating type of creature. Um Let's keep going. What else have we got? We we got birds over here that come along and they steal stuff out of your inventory. That they, they like to do that. That's, that's another little game that they like to play, which is just great, isn't it? Um, there's another stimberry there. Oh, stimberry seeds. 
I'm not interested in trying to plant stuff. I can barely stay alive as it is. I'm not going to try and keep something else alive. The dinosaurs can fare for themselves. They do just fine. Right, what do we got? We got about 30 stim berries. That, that ought to be enough. Okay, we now want to go down here. You can see this game is like... For a single player, this game is bordering on the impossible. Right? It does. And I mean, I, admittedly, yes, the game is technically really designed to be a multiplayer experience. And you, you do it on a server with a bunch of friends. And there are ways that you can set it all up and you can alter your settings around. So, like, I could... There's a few settings that I could change in order to make this a bit better for me. Um, and there are servers... You know, there's a lot of people that really do love playing this game. And I'm not trying to take away from you. you know, I'm, not, I'm not trying to, like, remove that experience from you just because I don't particularly like it. Um, but there are... Th this is why I stopped playing the game. Th this is why I stopped playing in the first place because there are so many aspects of this game that I just find incredibly frustrating and I don't enjoy. And that's, um... You know, like sitting there for absolutely ages unconscious for no real reason whatsoever. Let's see if I can get me a Tyranodon. I've got a um, saddle. There's the Tyranodon unconscious. Um. Ah. Right, he's just in here. So we've got access inventory right there. So what do you eat? I don't remember if these things eat meat or berries. Or maybe they eat fish. I'll put meat in there. This is the other thing, is they don't tell you anything about them. Right, I got no information about this thing. It says food. Show ancestors. Wilder. Oh, I see. Patrilineal, matrilineal line. That's, that's my own ancestral lines that I've put onto them. Uh, I don't think that these things eat berries. I'll put some berries in there, just in case. Do you eat berries? Uh, it would appear that these actually eat fish. So I need to go and get some fish. Let's take a spear. Let's go into the water. And see if we can persuade a fish to come along and attack. I've got some cooked fish, but I don't really want to use up the cooked fish just for a minute. There. Right. And then I'm going to go with that one. 17 raw fish. I'll keep it going for a minute. Do we want more than 17 raw fish? I don't think we do. I think 17 raw fish will be plenty. Okay, you're still unconscious. You haven't done anything at all. So it's almost... Nope. Uh, e, access inventory. Uh, it's almost definitely fish. So there, we've put raw fish in here as well. Still nothing. Hmm. I put... I put berries in. I put fish in. I put meat in. Which one's he going to eat? Pretty sure. He's, he's got to use one of them up, eventually. Food, well, I suppose, yeah, we've got to wait for the food value to drop. But I've put berries, I've put fish, and I've put uh, meat in there. Oh, what's he? He's making a lot of noise. What did he just eat? 17 of them. Right, he ate meat. He didn't eat the raw fish. So I'll take those and I'll take that out. He ate just ordinary meat. I need to wait for him to do one more lot of meat eating. And then he'll be ready to go. What level are you? Oh, you're a level 40. That's actually pretty good. A level 40 one, that is pretty... I like this. All I gotta do is make sure that nothing comes along and tries to eat it. Just while it's there. We've got to defend it with our meager lives. Go away. Go away. This thing is mine. This Tyranodon is mine. You stay away from him. He's my pet. What is this one going to be called? This one is going to be called Zorta777, by the way. 
This is Zorta 777, taming effectiveness 99.8 plus 19 levels. He's going to be a level 59 when he's done. What are you doing? Okay. He appears to be wiping his butt on my new, um, my new pet. <laughs> my new mount. Don't do that. That's not very nice. If you could hurry up. All right, it's... He is taking his time, isn't he? But we'll be able to get into the air. We've got the saddle with us. We've got everything we need. We just need him to eat. Which should take to any, any second now. It's taking a long time. I remember this now with these things. It does take rather a long time for them. He's, he's, uncon he's, he's halfway through unconsciousness. That Carbonimus, if, if, if you could go away, just leave us alone. There we go. There we Right. Zorta. Triple seven. Right. Now, I want to go. Uh, behavior. Enable only target conscious. And then. Don't pick up stones. Uh, behavior. Stance. Neutral. And then. Access inventory on here. We will put the saddle on. That one on there, like that. And that's it. Oh, hang on a minute. Well, first up, we'll go here. So we can ride. Press the space bar for that. I don't remember how to go up. Right, that's forward and back. Oh, up is, it, it literally you point up, and then space bar is, um, that brings you down. And, unless you cancel it. Right. So we go up like this, and then I can go into his bags right here. Wait. He's got no, what happened to the meat? Right, we need to, we actually, we're going to need to land and get him a bit of meat. Uh, get him some food. But I mean, we've we've got, he is level 40, so let me just have another, oh, he's, he's leveled up already. Right, his health is 500 almost, his stamina is 217, weight is 134, movement speed 135. So these guys here, um, I want his weight to go up, he's level 59 he starts off at. Uh, I'm gonna go with carry weight to start with and speed would be another good one if you do it like that if you if you you sprint with these guys they can really go with the sprinting uh, stamina trouble with these is that their stamina deteriorates even as you like if you just fly normally their stamina still drops down and uh, that is one slight issue with them uh, I'm Gonna have a little bit of food as we go. If you look up in the top right hand corner, I don't know if you can see it very well, but it says stamina at the moment, one, two, two out of two one seven. Right, the only way that they can rest is to be on the ground. Um the other thing you gotta be aware of with these is you got to scout the area where you land. Uh, remember that much. I do actually remember that. So like I bring him in here. And I press space bar and I've ordered him to land. Like that. Now I'm on his back. Now his stamina is going up. Right? Now he's now he's increasing his stamina. Uh, what I'm going to do is... We're going to go for a little fly. Like this. We're going to go... We're going to just speed up a bit. Come out over to this side. Ah, there's a Carbonimus up there. That's perfect. Because this is actually where we got the iron from as well. So I'm going to just land right there. And then I'm going to know what I want to look into there. I want to climb off. And I want to have a look at him a minute. I want to do it like this. And then behavior. Uh, disable following. Right. I want him to stay there a minute. I'm going to take this one. Go like that. 
Oh, don't start attacking, you stupid thing. That's not my f that's that's my fault though, because I, I left him on um, neutral. Right, and I'll take that. A load of keratin, a load of hides. Uh, I got some raw meat as well. And the reason I want to do this was because I want to get some raw meat for him. We'll go access inventory over here. He's leveled up. That's great. Stamina is the distance that they can fly. And then, obviously, movement speed is the speed that they can... You can't increase movement speed. That's not something you... So, stamina is something that you want. And then, I want, the, I want his carry weight to go up. I want him to be able to carry a lot of stuff. So, I put a bit of that in. Like that, that there, the fish. I'm just going to dump that. I don't want that. Berries can go. Berries can go. we we'll keep the keratin. That one, that one can go. we we'll dump those. Got some eggs here. Uh, right, we'll leave the rest of that for a minute. Um, so up through here somewhere. Up this way, I think. Right, well, I got, I've got some iron right here. We, iron is the first thing that I want. I want to get a bit more iron so that we can make a saddle for our new friend that we've got back home. So if we can just deal with that bit first, and then once... Oh, wait. I can't. I need... What do I need to make that one? One wood and five thatch. One punch on a tree. Six thatch. Which these do. There we go. One wood and some thatch. Um, if we get a little bit of iron for a minute, uh, once we've done that... So I need the pickaxe to get the most iron. So as much metal as I can get from these little stones here. We take that back and that can start making into the saddle for our giant... Uh, is it Bronto? I can't remember. The, the big dude that we got back home anyway. You, you know the one that I mean. We got the big dude back home. There's another bit of metal over there. Grab a load out of that. Uh, once we've dealt with that bit, then we're also going to go and do a load more exploring of the island. Um, we've got a flying mount now. There's other flying mounts available that we can get hold of as well. So we don't just have to rely on this guy. And we're going to explore the island. I'd like to get a T-Rex mount. Those are pretty cool. It is pretty awesome um, being able to ride around on a T-Rex. Hopefully we can do a lot of these things without me getting so incredibly frustrated that I rage quit the game. I think this would be, you know, I, I do feel is a step in the right direction. If I can do this without having me rage quit, then yeah. Right, so at the moment my carry weight is 200. That's a little bit high. I want my own movement speed to be going up. That's great. And I'll put that one away. So have my own movement speed go up. I'm going to keep working on my own movement speed. And then I got you over here. You're not He's not going to be able to fly at the moment. See, his weight, his weight limit is 142. And my total weight is now 126. I got 126 metal right there. If I leave him here, I think bad things might happen. So I think what we'll do is we'll go... Right, if I do that, he's absolutely not able to go anywhere because I'm too heavy. He's encumbered. Right? Poor thing. He's, he's just weighed down way too much with me sat on him. I, I don't know where he's going now. What exactly do you think you're doing? They do some very strange things sometimes. Right, he's, he's now going to... And unfortunately, folks, I'm going to have to interrupt things here. I think we could do with a little break. The dinosaurs, they can be a bit much sometimes. So if you've enjoyed the episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.